Well, it's not like it used to be. <laughs> This is the modern counterpart of the sort of earth-moving equipment that a Mackenzie Country run holder started to design and to manufacture in the workshop on his sheep station 50 years ago. By comparison, his pioneer version seems crude and primitive. But hauled by what was one of the first caterpillar tractors in New Zealand, it worked. This Mackenzie Country squatter used his scoop to excavate two hectares of shingle that those rivers had dumped here. He needed a more regular supply of power for his fast expanding workshop. Until then, he'd simply diverted water from the river to his generator along an open, shallow water race. Now, while he and his workshop staff played ice hockey on the dam, the water flowing from beneath the ice kept his generator turning. And such was this do-it-yourselfers response to any challenge that he even built a combined mechanical sweep scraper and polisher to save time preparing the ice for play. The dam and the generator and the busy workshop were all miles out of town in the heart of the Mackenzie country on a sheep station. This one man designed and constructed an endless range of devices from earth movers to pumps and air conditioning units. He did it in the workshop he built between the homestead and the wool shed. Everything was a response to the stimulus of this distinctive New Zealand landscape. Local solutions to local problems. But that extraordinarily inventive New Zealander is remembered most of all for something else, something quite different. This old boat has in it the first of the second type of jet propulsion units designed and built in the early 1950s here at Irishman's Creek by Bill Hamilton. He tested it out on this dam. Right. Sir William Hamilton, as he became, first experimented with the jet boat on his dam at Irishman's Creek. But as Lady Hamilton remembers, the real challenge and the real inspiration came from those strange Mackenzie country shingle rivers. We always used to go camping. One day we were coming back from Wanaka, and we found a little road going down to where well, the confluence of the rivers, the Pukaki and the Oha and the Tekapo. It was lovely, absolutely lonely and quiet. I said, oh, do let's camp here, lovely. And Bill looked up and he said, well, it'd be all right, there'd be nothing to do unless you had a boat. And he said, if only you could get a boat to go up. So then he finally started one, and the first jet, I think, would only do about 11 miles an hour. Of course, it made it horribly exciting. And then when he got the water coming out at the back instead of under the boat, then that increased the speed enormously. 
they always say that he did it to go round his sheep. Of course he didn't. He did it really for fun, for the feeling of exploring a river. There can hardly be a better illustration of how man has triumphed over the unaccustomed elements he found in this new land. Sir William Hamilton developed the jet boat for fun, and in New Zealand they're still used for pleasure. Elsewhere, they're used as fishing boats, search and rescue craft, and patrol boats. This, though, is their natural habitat. The jet boat's a typical New Zealand response to a typical New Zealand situation. 